What is going on guys? As always, you're truly the great one, great needs to be, whatever you wanna call me, basically, your boy, you know, I'm your boy. And I gotta say, it's really weird for me to make this kind of video, to do predictions, because I'm, I am really got used to making gaming, WWE gaming videos, and this nostalgia feeling on this channel, and that's why I think it works, nostalgia for you guys, for me guys, playing this all ass games, it's fun, it's fun, and it, it, especially because I'm not that invested in today's WWE product, because you gotta admit it's really hard to. So for me to play WWE game, EU games is awesome. I gotta say I haven't been following Raw and SmackDown that much. Like I've been following it, but I couldn't watch a full show. Today's product for me especially is I've, I've been watching wrestling for like 14, 15 years since 2004. It was never this bad. I'm not talking about the roster, the quality of the matches, I'm talking about the quality of the show storylines. I think it's bad. Doesn't mean I'm not excited for Elimination Chamber because it's one of the best pay-per-views of the year. All I'm saying is, it's hard for me to keep up and that's why I really really love making these gaming videos because when it comes to wrestling, the sport, like fighting, blah, 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 fake, fake fists, I love that, like the concept of, of all the professional wrestling is still right here in my heart. When it comes to the product itself though, like WWE, I'm not that invested, I gotta be honest guys, so that's why these gaming videos work for me and you guys, because I feel like you guys feel the same thing, you just miss the old as great WWE content. Try to watch any older WWE Raw, Smackdown, you will feel like... And this was the shit, even with a worse roster, you know? That was the shit, and now... I think another thing to blame is, is what world we're living in today, everything is offensive, I don't know, just let's keep to Elimination Chamber. Just like I said, I haven't been really, really following it, the only thing I like right now is Seth Rollins, like that guy just had two great matches in a row. That, that is the only thing I liked about this build about uh, Elimination Chamber. It didn't make any sense. Here's what I want to talk about. It didn't make any sense when people lose the match and you give them second second chance match with the losers of the match. Logically, wouldn't it make any more sense if you would give the second chance to those who were not even in the match in the first place? You blew your chance. You're getting a second chance instead of those people who never blew the chance and never got into a match. Like, I know it makes sense just to put Balor in it or whatever, but at the same time, I just want a little bit of that fucking logic in wrestling. I miss it. You just need a bit of a little bit of logic. Now I know logic was never a big thing in wrestling. You you give birth to a hand, you fucking dead women. That's wrestling. <laughs> but you know, nah, 2018 boy, yeah, just step up your game. Whatever the case may be, let's start with the pay-per-view. I don't know a lot of matches, by the way. I know the main ones. So we will have Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson versus the Mishtor, Mishtoraj, Mish. The Mishtoraj versus Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson. Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson are going to win. They are baby faces right now, which is very weird. Never expected them to see as faces, uh, especially right in WWE after all the nerd stuff they did. Uh, I think it will essentially lead to a heel turn with Balor. That's what I'm really looking forward. The only other way they're going to do Book Balor, Book Balor, I'm not gonna give a shit because this guy needs to be a heel. So for some reason, as a babyface, he just never works for me. A lot of people love the guy. I just can't get get invested in him because he's, I don't know. He needs to turn heel. He's a good wrestler, but you know, a little bit of lack of character, and that's not even his fault, but well, of course. But my prediction is Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, they're, they're much more bigger in the WWE right now than Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. By the way, I love Curtis Axel, this guy should get a big, big push. Raw Tag Team Championships, Tazaro and Sheamus vs Titus Worldwide. You gotta love that tag team division in WWE, you got Titus Worldwide for the contenders. It, it's kinda odd, when on SmackDown Live you have so many great tag teams, you have Ascension. Uh, that, that's the first tag team that comes into my mind, really, the great one, really, really, Ascension. By the way, you have Ascension, you have uh, Fandango and Tyler Breeze, Ble you have, uh, what else do you have, Luke Gallows, Luke, Luke Harper and Eric Rovin, you have the Usos, you have the New Day, you have Chad Gable and uh, Shelton Benjamin, 
you probably have even more tag teams. I, I, Rusev and uh, Aiden English, like so many potential tag teams that you're like... I always said that. If you ever look at the roster as a division in the WWE and you think like, I want this WWE guy to be a champion, but, but I also want this guy to be a champion. What if this guy would be, I want all of these guys to be champion and I can't decide there's too many guys. If that happens, it means division is pretty stacked, you know, it's pretty good. When it comes to SmackDown Live's tag team division, I feel that way. I want the Usos to stay champions. I want Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin to maybe get that chance. I want Rusev and Aiden English to win. I, I want Luke Harper and Eric Rowan to win. I can't decide who should be the tag team champions because that division is stacked. When you look at Raw tag team division, you're like, okay, so you either keep that title to Rollins and whoever the fuck his partner is because everyone is injured, or just keep it on, yeah, keep it on Cesaro and Shame if there's no one else. Rival is kind of here. Lugalos and Carl Anderson were buried a couple of So, who, who do we put? Ah, just keep it, keep it. You know, we have two tag. Ah, who, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? So, you know, it's that type of deal. And, um, I don't know, Titus Worldwide, I appreciate that they get a push. Don't get me wrong. I like these guys. They're good. Apollo Cruz, like, Cruz, he's a. No. He's Apollo right now. Yeah, they changed the name because of that accident that happened. Not quite sure if you should change his name. I don't think people would associate uh, him with any anything that happened. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. But you know what? It is what it is. It's not a big deal. So, my prediction is obviously Cesaro and Sheamus. I don't see them winning. This is one of these deals when wrestlers get, wrestlers get a chance and eventually you know they're just going to lose. Like, our truth against John Cena. You just knew he's going to lose because it's a one type deal thing. Whatever my prediction is Titus. No. Sheamus and Cesaro. Another match that we have. Woken Matt Hardy versus Bray Wyatt. They killed blah, 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 both of these guys. When was the last time Bray Wyatt was entertaining? I'm not quite sure. Why they ruined Woken, Broken, Matt Hardy? I'm st I still trying to figure it out. When it first came out, you just guys gotta remember how we were bumped up. Like, wrestling was really, really getting down and down. And then we got this Matt Hardy gimmick. And we're like, holy shit, I remember I was the seat sitting like, you know, excited, laughing my ass off. And next week, they did the same thing. I was like, okay, we've seen that already. Next week, they did kind of the same thing, then they laughed for another few months into each other's face. And at this point, I don't give a shit, like, single, single F. I'm not excited at all. At all, they just ruined it. Ruined completely. WWE just watered down Matt Hardy and made him into something that just bores the shit out of me. I don't know why they did that. But this is WWE. My prediction is, though... Woken Matt Hardy this time, I think he was jobbing way too much, so I will say Woken Matt Hardy is, and I believe it should end the rivalry, uh, maybe do something with Jeff and Matt, because if Jeff is in it, it kinda, I think they would be more creative, hopefully with, with Matt Hardy, even though with Bray Wyatt you could be so much more creative, you have two personas that are crazy, oh, this is WWE, they always ruin shit, it, it's, it's crazy to think, how can you ruin this type of, how? How is this even possible? So I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. Ronda Rousey official Raw contract signing. I, I, I'm kind of excited about that because it's kind of different. I want to see the crowd reaction. I obviously, I, I honestly never get the hate for Ronda because it's, it's good for the business. She is the greatest women's athlete in the world, at least the most popular. That's what I'm trying to say. And it's yeah, more eyes on on women's wrestling. I think never, women's wrestling never what got this popular as it is right now. What I'm trying to say, it's good. It's very good. And. Um, this complaining, I don't know, she's a WWE fan, I appreciate that. It's not like she was like, I need a lot of money, I will go up here, even though I don't give a shit about wrestling. Even though, that would be fine. Who gives a crap as long as you are entertained? Whatever, who gives a crap? Uh, but as, as much as she likes WWE, I think her better gimmick would be just like Brock Lesnar, like, I don't give a shit about this company, I'm going to kick your ass, take the money, take the championships, and go home. I think that should be her gimmick, but whatever, maybe they will make it work, you never know, you just never know, she was going to be with baby, 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 baby face, so, you know, works. Asuka versus Naya Jax, she's jacked, Asuka, yeah, she's gonna win. Nia Jax was looked like a piece of shit. 
like a piece of nothing and, and it's not her fault I like her I really like her I think she has something different she she's she she should be the biggest thing in women's division she should be squashing all these girls but they booked her like another girl like in these elimination matches she's always eliminated the first or second I don't get that I just ruined the, the, the girl either way I hope uh, her big moment is going to be at WrestleMania uh, yeah I, I really hope so the first ever women's elimination chamber match like can you WWE slow down with uh, first ever's I know it's a couple of you know this thing that generic WWE fans like I don't think we care that much. I don't think we care. I would rather see a fucking full stacked arena with a lot of people because the product is good than a shitty, stupid, terrible booking product that the first time ever made me disgusted with WWE because I cannot watch it a lot of times, most of the time. Sometimes they put good shows, don't get me wrong, I'm just over exaggerating it. Uh, then just uh, first ever. Why why don't you book a good show? Fuck's Have you seen Smackdown Live's crowd? It was like 40 50 percent full only Dude Why and they blame it on all oh, brand split No, if you would book good shows man people would watch that It's not the problem of brand split. Okay when it comes to that match. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know it's a first ever, it, se it seems very forced, you know, I, I ki I'm kind of happy with it, but it also feels very forced. Like, the fact that the main event of uh, Royal Rumble was women's, because women, it's 2018, let's give women all the... I agree, give them, make it, make it fair, but you don't need to push it, I mean, it seems like, ah, this is a bit forced, this is, this is a bit forced. It's like having a commentary with three different races of guys that would be like, that's what I'm talking about, forced. Like, it's okay, it's great, but it's like, uh, th this is a bit too much, it feels fake. You just, I don't know, I, I hope you get the point that I'm trying to make. At the end of the day, I'm happy we're going to have that match. I just hope it's not going to be main event because, yeah, we're trying to get all the glory. WWE, look at us, look at us what we're doing with women, look at WWE. Uh, while ignoring how product sucks. Uh, th this is what I don't understand. It's push it pushes me away so much. Sorry for being so negative. It's, I'm just... Uh, at the same time, people, oh, why are you negative? Why are you that? Why are you saying this? I, I'm, just, I, I'm just being honest, guys. I never, never say shit that I don't believe in. Uh, I think it's, it's wrong. It's, it's really wrong. So, uh, if you don't like what I say, well... My bad, I guess. When, when I play these WWE games, if I don't like the game, this is what I'm going to say. I don't like it. Sorry. What do you, I, I think it's... What am I supposed to do? Lie? No. Ah. So in this match, we have Sasha Banks, we have Bailey, Mickey James, uh, Alexa Bliss, this oh, Pokemon girl that has gloves, <laughs> Sonya Deville, I think, or and Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose's Elimination Chamber match, that's gonna be, yeah, she's probably going to be eliminated first, so she doesn't have to take any bumps outside of it, you never know. I, I think the, yeah, I think the Elimination Chamber match is watered down anyway, you don't have the steel anymore, so it's good for the safety, whatever, I guess. You can make it entertaining without that, in my opinion. My prediction is, well, you gotta look at who's going to face Asuka, you know, that's the biggest thing that you have to look at. I think the biggest match for Asuka would be Charlotte right now as a champion. So maybe you just need to look at that a different way. Maybe Nia Jax was going to face Ronda Rouse is probably going to be in a tag team match, uh, mixed tag team match. So I don't know, man. Uh, I really have no idea. I'm gonna say Alexa Bliss. I'm gonna say Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax at WrestleMania. I think that works pretty, pretty well. Anyway, another men's elimination chamber match. Winner to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at WrestleMania. We already knew that like a year ago, like six months ago, seven months ago, this is going to happen. SmackDown guy is going to SmackDown guy is going to win the SmackDown guy is going to win the Royal Rumble. So you, we don't have to see Roman winning it. So like keep SmackDown because we don't want to upset you right now. We want you to face and uh, all the glory of uh, Roman Reigns. And. Um, they made the seven man, of course, first time ever. Who gives a crap? A lot of people are like, oh man, we will have more pods. No, 
you will have three people in the ring at the same time i think so why would you change the the, the, the concept the whole cage when you can just have three people at the same time at once when you start it no am i the only one who's like oh man you're going to make a lot more pods right now <laughs> no so, so you have Elias Sampson, you have Finn Balor, you have Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, John Cena, Seth Rollins, and The Miz. I think John Cena is facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania, because he said uh, something on Raw, I heard he said something like that uh, WrestleMania can get dead men uh, from, from, from being dead, whatever, he said something like that. Seth Rollins is not winning it, even though he probably should, it would be a better match. Uh, Elias is not winning it. Balor is not winning it. Strowman should win, but he's probably not. Miz is not. No, it's just so, so obvious. It's Roman Reigns. It's goddamn Roman Reigns beating six other men to advance, and you gotta believe that. Roman Reigns is winning this. It's all about Reigns. I think that's one of the reasons why WWE sucks so much right now. We know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Sometimes it's good to listen to the fans. I get it's not not always believe me as a YouTube as a youtuber I know that as well. If you would listen all the time to your fans You're not gonna get any further. So you gotta take chances while also listening to the fans You gotta keep that balance WWE is not keeping any balance. They're just doing the shit that they want which is, You know anyways guys, these are my predictions for elimination chamber So I think the kickoff is going to be won by Lou Gallows and Carl Anderson. Raw Tag Team Championships will be uh, defended and won um, by uh, Cesaro and Sheamus. Woken Matt Hardy is going to win. Ronda Rousey, I don't know. She's going to make an announcement, I guess. Asuka is going to win. Uh, Alexa Bliss is going to win. And Roman Reigns is going to win the match. Let me know in the comments below your predictions for the pay-per-view. Thank you for watching this video. As always, Twitter and Instagram links are in description. I would appreciate that. Other second channel, Greatness TV, awesome content, comedy videos. Thank you so much for helping me out. Make sure to hit that like. The Red One, peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure.